Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top favorite setting sprays. So you guys know I've been doing this top five series for a while now, talking about my favorite products at the moment or just in general makeup products that I've been loving. Um, I will be sure to leave you guys a link to where to go for that playlist. You guys can watch the whole series and binge watch it. And if you're interested in seeing which are my favorite setting sprays, keep on watching. So the first setting spray I want to start with is something that is new to me. Um, I don't have much time that I discovered this, but I absolutely loved it since the beginning. And that is the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. This, you guys, I thought it was honestly over like hyped from by YouTubers, but honestly, it really doesn't have anything anymore. But it is so refreshing. It is the best setting spray I find that doesn't move my foundation, it doesn't make anything smear, it just sets beautifully. It has a beautiful airy mist, so when you apply it to your face, it's very gentle and subtle, but it also helps you lock in that makeup, making sure that it doesn't move anywhere and that it lasts as well. So this is definitely a very budget-friendly setting spray with a lot of quality. The next setting spray I wanna talk about is the Matte Fix Plus, and I brought you guys my little mini baby. I have the actual Fix Plus. I just couldn't find it anywhere. So sorry about that. Um, so I brought in the mini. I love this guy. This is a multi-purpose setting spray. You can use it to intensify metals. If you wanna use it with pigments and stuff that just wants to be amplified a little bit more, this would be the setting spray to use. Um, for me in general, I can't use this all over my, my face because I have really sensitive face and skin and it always breaks me out, but I like to use this for my shadows. I like to use this when some of the shadows are giving me a little hard work. I like to use this product and it honestly is beyond words. The next setting spray I wanna talk about is a drugstore setting spray. And this is also new to me. But I've always liked the Wet n Wild um, setting spray. I don't feel like it does much. It's not gonna be the type to like mattify you or blur you out or anything like that, but it definitely will give you that refreshing scent. This one is the rose one. I think they kind of got inspired by like the MAC um, Fix Plus that has a rose scent and this one smells gorgeous. But like I said, I just feel like it refreshes. I don't feel like it makes my makeup last longer, but it does definitely refresh and makes my face full like feel like I just did my makeup. This product I want to talk to you guys about is the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a very, very dewy like setting spray. If you're not into like the dewy thing, maybe this is not going to be your cup of tea, but for me that I have dry skin, this just makes my skin look like I'm freaking glowing. Like I just came back from Hawaii. It is hella expensive but it is definitely worth it. I feel like this is one of those setting sprays that does not break out my face it doesn't make my sensitivity like just come to life and I honestly honestly love it the next product I want to talk about is the pixie glow mist and this stuff is honestly I want to say the most hydrating of them all and the mist is kind of fine I don't see that it's like super airy or anything but I do find that it is kind of fine and airy and it makes me feel like I'm wearing skincare, but I just set my face. If it, makes me, if it makes any sense, it feels like you did two things at once, which is always a plus. Products like this, you're always so freaking pumped. By the way, guys, I am so sorry for the appearance of my hair. It is hella humid where I live and hella hot. My hair is not having it. I was not gonna wear my hair down because I'm hating the weather, honestly. I hate hot weather, like, I just feel like I'm a polar bear or something because I hate heat. Like, can we just freaking move on to the fall? Like, please. And last but not least, before my little rant right there, is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I did not like to use this at first. I was a little confused. And this one is that kind of like in your face kind of setting spray. It does spray hard but it does 
make sure that your makeup stays put especially like i said i don't know a lot of people said that it was mattifying on their dry skin but as for me it doesn't make me feel any drier or it doesn't break me out or anything it doesn't give me texture which is something that i love because when you have dry skin a lot of setting sprays do emphasize the little texture you might have or the little dry patches and it just makes your skin look and feel horrible but all of these products i honestly stand by them a hundred percent um and kind of rotate them al along the way because i feel like if i don't i just get stuck on one like for say the morphe one i was stuck on this forever if you've been seeing my tutorials um i'm kind of taking a break i'm kind of taking a break of makeup tutorials for a hot little minute just to give you guys um some other type of content because i feel like i was being so repetitive with my looks and honestly guys i've always told you guys this from the get-go i've always been like a super simple neutral looking kind of girl yes sometimes i like to experiment and to go in for like the super cool looking like vibrant looks but most of the times you guys it's only lashes lipstick and let's do it so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video hope you guys are having an awesome almost kind of summer end of school kind of time and if you're not i hope you are now that you watch this video and i want to thank you guys so much for watching like always don't forget to subscribe if you haven't my name is alejandra and all my social medias will be down below as always and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one bye guys